something to wait there, but it was a whole in there kryptonite a big amount of trouble for some of these teams as Abilene spotted out two and that's it fanatic make a work reject have two left in drs man they're gonna be just coming into the circle now one of the biggest shifts i've ever edge. seen but Valdis know they want to pull off and there you go the circle comes up the circle that is a painful one indeed as you know that zeus the what will he need tries to go for the pre-fire the circle that's how we're gonna go from now on they, they get it at the end of the game quite a lot but you know what can they play it properly because Zeus has got quite a lot of you they took down two players into Xavier with I saw an empty for now actually but from behind that's gonna be a snade it's just too good it's too strong Ooh, Ooh, just be fully prepared for he is well Zeus not much could really do it's your the control of Zeus is so good they'll rush now far and wide Gooey got spotted away trying to get the warehouses which is okay with but why did they wait. stay there for so long right it's one thing to wait there but it was a whole in their kryptonite in this one like it's time to smite for Zeus. But Alex Zombie's trying to cross over. The Blue Sin's doing a lot of work. Mexico will, at the end, be an extra casualty. Food and Salam getting against spotted out. It's just a question of time. Unfortunately, as you said, there's not a lot of strong positions to play from. So the Blue Zin is going to be a, yeah. a big, big and amount of trouble for some of these teams. As Abilene spotted out too. And that's it, Fnatic. Uh, Fnatic Zombies out in 12. A little bit of a hard rotate, and we, and we said it right, the more you delay it, the more teams already into the circle yes, are going to have an easy time taking you down, so that's going to be a lot of kills in the way of Zeus. Uh, now there's only A1 that's in there with Zeus 2, and there's literally nowhere to play from in this circle. All you have to play is going to be a little bit of terrain, some trees, some rocks. Other than that, you have nothing to play from. One thing being in the circle, it's another one controlling it. Let's see if A1 can pull that off. They do have DS on one side of them. They have Valdis on the other. One of the A1 players was knocked down earlier, but he got revived up. That will at least alert them a little bit. To Xavier on the western side, they've been so out of Camp Alpha, but they're going to make it work. Reject have two left in DRS. Man, they're going to be just coming into the circle now. Yeah, that's it for Navi out in 11th. Great shots from A1 all around. They got the only strong position to play from with the circle. There's a big chance it's not going to come their way until, I, unless I see one of the biggest Small shifts I've ever seen. But Valdis know they want to try and take that fight. Xavier and also DRS are going to be pushing from the eastern side. That's not going to be an easy one to pull off. And there you go. The circle comes up. And it is horrible. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is horrendous for all of these teams. Everyone has to move in. Everyone has to fight to even just barely move from their respective position. This is a hard game on Sanhok. Also, last player, Myths, just went down. He was going for a heal star. Johnny is doing exactly what I suggested as well. Has barely moved. He's healing up in the blue. So out of the nine teams that are left, only eight are realistically close to the circle. And that is a painful one indeed, as you know that Zeus, the closest team to a Phallus going up against the might of A1 with a cheeky third-party shot from a distance of Zeus will slow them down a bit. But in that fight, they have gotten the body advantage onto A1 with two A1 players knocked for the time being. Zeus got to go downhill too. They've got actually quite a few rocks on their way down. So that would be huge for Zeus to play from. Just go in, scout, get the information, shoot, go from rock to rock. And that's going to be the game-winning opportunity for Zeus to get himself in a strong spot. Though, Valdus continuously trying to go for the assault onto A1, but they're struggling so hard to get the intel. While Luka, Viola Esports still alive, trying to go for a little yeah, bit it's true. to get a lot of meds earlier. I might just sneak his way into the circle, but he took so much damage from the blue. One bullet from Icy, that's all he needs. Tries to go for the free fire, and that is going to be the shot connecting. That's it for Yala Esport, but unfortunately, Icy will be traded his life away. At six down below, we'll get a little bit of a sneaky backdoor opportunity. Sinister from A1, also trying to sneak in, but the blue zone, we said it, is going to be the downfall for most of the teams in this lobby. Only four teams currently remain is Valda, Zeus, and Reject, and also the side of DRS from the Pow trying to eke their way forward, but... Any one player from Reject Stand is going to be divine in a one-on-one -on -one versus Mafia Ninja. Really not surprised DRS is still in this game. They are the highest oh, the circle. scoring get team inside these Sandhawk games, but it shifts towards Valdis down the hill. Are they going to be able to deal with the might of Mongolia as they look on up above three by the rock, but they have Valdis in their sights. Uh, I told you, we've got to rebrand it. It's Valdus the Circle. That's how we're going to go from now on. They, they get it at the end of the game quite a lot. But you know what? Can they play it properly? Because Zeus has got quite a lot of utility remaining. And I think that that might be the downfall of Valdus if they play that utility correctly. Divine spotted away. And was able to actually get Duello back on his two feet. So that's huge for the Japanese team. Oh, Mafia. Uh, Mafia Ninja into the blues. It's got nine first aid. If I win, I would heal off. I would not push away from that tree. That would be really scared to do so. Great nades from down below. Also, that's going to be Icy knocked away. And Martin actually will get the knock with that M4. 
Can they get the resin time? Duello wall by the dust eliminated in fourth position for Reject. Still great position and that Sanok is not really one of their best maps. That's just a question of time. And we know this is going to be all between Zeus and Valdus, which will be the team to stand on top at the end. You see, here's the thing. If I'm being keeping an eye on the kill feed Zeus, they could think it's a four-man Valdus. To be the case. Mongolia versus Thailand. I think that Zeus has used so much utility, there mustn't be a lot remaining. Icy trying to go for the wide spray. We'll get himself some nice damage onto six. I think Ninja's still healing off. He must be down to 50% of his uh, remaining first aid stack. He's hoping for the fight to break out, but I think, yeah, he's starting to work for walk forward. He knows that this is not going to be enough to really snatch away a second place. I guess Nikki kill up in there, trying to jump on over. I think Zyola got the information above the rock, and he actually makes it in. Got to get a little bit closer inside, and Mafia Ninja does get taken down, actually, by the blue zone. So kill denied away from Zeus. And now this is confirmed. Minimum second place for Valdus and Zeus. But man, Valdus have been just so consistent hitting these top threes. It's just so impressive, but can it turn into another win? That's going to be the first knock coming out. Martin gets the head onto Abilene, blown right off. 3v2 currently happening while Zeus have to push down here. It is so hard and the pre-fires are just so easy to connect for Valdez. Now it's down to one onto Zyol and they get it done. Six, what a play, what a man. He's just so strong and consistently get himself towards those top five placings in Sanok. Really happy with what we've been able to see from Valdez in this game. And uh, this is the last Sanok, so we're not going to be seeing any more of this map. But they've been able to be so strong on this one that I think this is... Uh, next time we see Valdez in an in a international tournament, we're going to be like, you know what, Sanok, they do really well. This is a scary team to deal with on the map. Look... Every single map, every single map, Valdus have proven themselves. If you're looking for Valdus' stats coming into today, in terms of maps, 15.1 in Arangle, 17.3 in Miramar, 15.3 in Sanhok. Yeah. You know, like for a tournament where Arangle is kind of the main priority for them to still have that level of consistency between the other two maps is kind of, it, it's, 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 it's speechless how good it is and it's quite obvious that coming into the pmg so presuming that they're going to be there they're going to be the team to back down they're going to be the team to come out on top i just can't speak any more highly of them it was a good game as well from i8 it was a strong game from zeus Let's they took down two players of the xavier with them so they'll take it before they went out it was dear drs that took them out in the end yeah there you go oh that's it Oh, that nade, I think he saw it for a second. He's got to get up after the heal. I saw an M249 actually. But from behind, that's going to be a sneaky third party from Blacklist International. Indeed, Imperium. Though NASA also going to be struggling a bit. Navi were down to two players. We know that was going to be a really hard game for them. That's movement inside that building. You can't escape the nade. It's just too good. It's too strong. Fonzio, respectfully, of course, is going to be nading that one up. NASA trying their best to move out of that position in the first place. Ramsey and Nabo. Behind that wall, they know they saw the third party, and I think they're trying to use that to their advantage by trying to move away of the fight and maybe trying to stop Zeus from really chasing them down. But this is still a really hard fight for NASA to take in the first place. But they are in circle, which means that Zeus will have to move in eventually, and that is something NASA needs to be fully prepared for. Yeah, that's true, but it is because the center is unplayable, it's all edge play. I'll say right now, though, you're looking at DS Gaming, they need to push onto Valdus. If they try and, and go through any other means into the circle, Valdus are just going to be able to take some Hail Mary shots and just completely obliterate your position in the first place. So they need to take this fight, and they need to rotate from this compound into the circle. There's no options, DS Gaming. Oh, you can't avoid me. You can't avoid that nade, because it's so damn clean from six. As they're down to three, DS Gaming. If you want to push it, you need to be careful and snappy. If you stay behind those walls, you're prone to taking nade and utility damage. That is something you want to avoid at all costs. You say it all the time when you're dead right with that. You stick to a wall. You're asking for a nade to hit you in the face. And it's slowing the S gaming down even more. Two players are knocked down. Sporta is pushing through while his teammate says that he is getting a revive on the missile that may work out for yeah. the time being. Valdis. They're ready to hold on. They get their own revive off. They get it done. Look, enough seemed like Valdus are not trying to absolutely shred it with utility. The flashbang did come on through, but it seemed like it wasn't able to quite connect onto Valdus. They're still going to be keeping that information, but DS Gaming now actually closing that gap more and more. Valdus are getting 
slowly but surely pin down in one single building, meaning that nades and mollies will be even more impactful for DS Gaming if they really want to get some significant damage onto Baldus. Oh. Also gets the trade off with Gui. Nice. He's going to try and also get himself involved in that fight, That's but where risky. is it going to be? Missile, he needs to try to fight too, but the Alfango actually through the window and through the door. He paid so much dividends. But now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Martin is going to be the only player remaining with Missile of DS Gaming. But he's not going to go for the push. And he's leaving his players trying to move away. You had a one opportunity to go for the push and take that one-on-one. -on -one, but now he gave too much time. And that's concept back on his two feet. And Valdus might come back up as a four-man. Not gonna lie, bit of a mistake made by Valdez. They shouldn't allow DS to get back into this fight, let's be fair, because they had two DS players knocked out. They could have easily have pushed in, got the squad right, and moved, moved out of the blue. But now Martin is left on his own with concept. There's no way, shape, or form you're gonna get the revive on the six or gooey. They're out of it right now. Well, DS, they left just one player left up. I was so surprised by DS because we saw that push they had earlier, right? Versus A1 and Sinister. The synergy was on point. Where was it there? It seemed like they were just under pressure and they just mm. couldn't deal with the pressure that was put on their shoulders at that time. So, hoping still a bit more consistency on that synergy point at least. Zeus in a red kill of Broly of Myth, one of the players that has been impressing me significantly for the entirety of Myth's squad. But we want to see a little bit more, but unfortunately, mm. the blue doesn't have any. Uh, uh, he had a first day, but not going to be popping it this time around. And now all the teams, this is it. Papa Blue, as Mustache Dave would like to say, is going to be coming into the play. And NASA are in position. We've got to be careful. If you peek on over, Valdus will try and punish you. And Zeus are also over to the east. NASA's got a lot to live up to. Nabo tickling down. Sliver of health in his hands. Martin being a snake monster that he is. Well, Zeus is on the other side. Still up as a three-man team. This could be their win. But at the end of the day, say what you want, as good as Zeus are doing, Valdis are doing just as good, and that lead, that gap between first and second continues to grow. That's gone. That's done, So for NASA to get eliminated in four. Three teams now remain. You got a little bit of a heal off from Missile from DS Gaming, actually, in the blue up north. So he's trying to hope and snatch away a third place. So Martin trying to push out. Not much could really do. So the control of Zeus is so good. They are relentless on this circle control right now. I'm absolutely loving every single second of it. But Gui is already trying to eke his way forward over to the more western side. Missile still alive. It's a battle. See who will survive the longest. Is it Missile or is it Gui? Seems like Missile doesn't have any more first aid, so he's going to try and rush over. Can he see Gui for a second? I thought he did right there, but apparently he didn't have the time to actually go for the shot. Now it's going to be a second position for Gui. Zeus will be pushing out far and wide. Gui got spotted away, trying to go for the shot. Does get icy down, but Gui just can't do anything. And the faithful shall be rewarded as Zeus started off. Quick little uh, look, just to make sure no one else has shifted around when it comes to the top five, because I believe BTR should be in there at fifth place. And we can see how BTR have made a massive climb in the last day, moving up four rankings from ninth to fifth, able to get themselves up to fifth. And uh, I think more importantly, showing us out there that they still are a team to be reckoned with. And I'm just curious to see for a lot of these teams, how they progress throughout the rest of the year. I mean, this is something I was mentioning on day one, which is uh, that, you know, Bigatron might have had a bad day, but I'm really, I'm always sort of hesitant to be like... Seeing there in a lot of great teams, they able to get a nice place. I think that's very respectable considering the caliber of teams we had. I think that for Reject, like, considering how far they've come throughout the entirety of the PUBG Mobile journey, the eSport itself, like, it's very nice to see them here.